Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. So in this video, we're going to learn about Java Database Connectivity for web application. So basically, we're going to cover three subtopics. The first one is overview of Java JDBC. The second one is JDBC API and the third one is development process. So let's start with what is JDBC. So basically, JDBC allow Java application to connect to a relational database. So the major databases that are supported such as Oracle, SQL, Server, MySQL and many others. So the database can be located in any local machine with the application and it also can be located in the network and even in the cloud. So the main features of JDBC, it is uh, the standard API that you develop Java application that can connect to various databases. So there is no need for you to develop code for different databases. That's the main advantage of JDBC. You can perform SQL to select, insert, update and also delete. And you also can perform complex SQL queries such as join, union. As you can see, JDBC did not place any limitation on your SQL development. So let's look at the JDBC architecture. So this is the another main component of JDBC which is um, to help to connect an application based on the database connection string. So the current version of the JDBC now is 4.3. With the latest version of JDBC, the driver are automatically loaded based on the class path. So basically, no additional work required as developer. So for the previous version of JDBC, such as 3.0, the driver have to be explicitly loaded with the class .for name and the parameter the driver name. So let's look at this JDBC API. So it's, it's defined in the following package, which is java.sql and also javax.sql. So these are the three classes in JDBC API, which is the driver manager, connection, statement, result set, and data source. So let's move on to the development process with JDBC. So these are the five basic steps to connect to a database um, from the Java application. So first, you need to get the connection to a database. Second, you need to create a statement object. Third, you need to execute SQL query. Fourth, you need to process the result set. And lastly, you need to close the connection. Okay, step one, you need to get a connection to a database. In this step, first we need to load the vendor specific driver class. For example here, for Oracle database, the syntax is oracle.jdbc.driver.oraclediver. So this will dynamically load a driver class specific for Oracle database. Then you need to establish the connection using the API connection class. So as in an example here, first I declare the re relevant variables before write the connection string. So then I create a connection object by calling the get connection method through the driver manager class. Okay, so this is basically to establish connection to the database by obtaining a connection object. Okay, step two, we need to create a statement object. So the create statement method of a connection interface is used to create the statement. So the object of statement is responsible to execute queries with the database. So as in, in the example, I use the connection object here to create the statement for the object my statement from the statement class. Next is step 3 where we need to execute the SQL query. So basically, in this step, the execute query method of statement interface is used to execute queries to the database. So this method returns the object of result set that can be used to get all of the records of the table. So basically, following from the my statement just now, so I'm using it again here, calling a method execute query, and in the bracket is actually the select statement from the table name registration and it holds an object here from result set class. So let's move on to the next step which is step 4. Step 4 is to process the result set. 
So in this step, the result set is initially placed before the first row. So if we look at the code here, we use the result set my rest equal to my statement dot execute query. So from here, I will fetch the data from the database. So I'm using my rest dot next, and this is in a while function. So the method while here will look through the result set and will display or read the data from the database. Finally, is step 5 where we need to close the connection. So by closing connection object statement and result set will be closed automatically. The close method of connection interface is used to close the connection. So after you look through your data or after you fetch your data and display your data from the database, so you need to have the close connection. So you need to close your my statement which is from the statement class and then you also need to close the connection object that open up the connection to the database. Alright. Okay, that's all for now. I will continue another video in for an example of application with JDBC. So for the rest of the notes, please read chapter 5 in my Google site. Thank you.